Hey everyone, Jeff Lee here at CCW 2014. We're here at our booth. Uh, behind me is the camera we're using for our photo booth, our Phantom Photo Booth. So all day we've been inviting guests to come in. We have some props for them. Uh, we're shooting them at 480 frames a second just to have a little bit of fun while we're at the show. Uh, the light we've been using this entire time though has been the new Light Panels uh, Astra. So it's basically an update to the one by one that everyone has used and loved for all these years. It's a little bit different looking. You can see it right away from the just looking at the front panel of it. It, it does use new generation surface mount LEDs uh, that are actually able to output four times the power of the traditional one by one. Uh, works out really well for us in this situation because as you can imagine it's pretty dark here at the Javits Center. Uh, but this one light here has been enough to power uh, through this whole presentation and you know, the entire uh, photo booth session that we've been doing. What's kind of unique about this new light is that it's by color. When you purchase it, it's always by color. Dual rows of LEDs for daylight and for tungsten as well. Uh, in the back of it, there's a module unit that you can attach a DMX unit. So currently we have the DMX unit attached. When that's attached, you actually have the ability to uh, switch internally from basically what they call high output mode to a uh, standard output mode, which uh, dictates the fan speed. You know, when you have a fan speed running at full blast, you can get four times the power. When you don't have the fans running, you get about twice the amount of power still of the old one by ones, which is kind of a great feature. Dimmer in the back for power output, of course, and of course to blend the colors if you want. They've introduced this new thing called nanoptic lenses, which lets you control the beam angle, the spread. By default, it's about 40 degree beam uh, spread. Uh, but there are 10 degree uh, nanoptic lenses as well as two 60 degree optics which lets you do a 60 degree horizontal as well as a 60 degree uh, vertical. So again, we've been using it all day. It's kind of nice, uh, especially with the DMX configuration. In DMX mode, you get three uh, DMX assignable channels, one for brightness, one for blending, and one for fan options. So actually, if you were to put it in a grid somewhere and you had to go real silent, you use a DMX fader, drop the fan speed to basically zero. It uses what they call passive cooling to just keep it um, Keep, you know, use the heat sinks to keep it cool. Uh, and again, you still get twice the amount of output compared to the original one by ones when you're using a passive mode. But if you are not shooting anything sync sound or if you're shooting outdoors where ambient noise is not really a problem, go ahead and turn the fan on at full speed. You'll be able to use uh, the 4X output mode. Uh, I've been really happy with this light. It's been forming flawlessly for us the entire photo booth. Uh, they're available now if you're interested. So make sure you step by Enable Show and check it out. That's it for now. Catch you next time.